Shalom, praise the Lord, glory our Dios, as usual, I always come up with something new. And today we're going to talk about the victory, the victory we have just now that we eliminate another uh, Hamas leader or Hezbollah leader, whoever it is. But one by one, we are eliminating our target and our goal is accomplished. Uh, time after time, as I always told you, that our arrow will go at the right place on right time where we want to be. Because this is not the, uh, this is his battle, not our battle. This is Hashem battle. And this time, everything will happen as it's written in Ezekiel chapter. I'm going to read a few of the scripture to make you understand that where we are standing right now and what's coming up and why the Moshiach is still not on the throne. Again and again, I've been telling you why Moshiach is not on the throne and he can come only three different ways one of by your faith by your faith if you have a faith in me then you will know who i am even though i don't know what will happen after you put me on my throne i'm gonna tell you the truth is only he knows and his team will know that he have chosen other rabbis or other uh, uh, righteous men so I am also waiting for that thing. Only I know that I am the one you all looking for. I am the one to build the temple and I am ready. I am ready for building the temple first. But first of all, you gonna have to choose me by faith. Or the second thing that I will come on my time, on his time. On his time, or third one is, I will come on miraculously, that like I always tell you, that you will see me on Mount Moriah. Now, everywhere right now, most of the world actually rejoicing by what Israeli's armies are doing it, by getting rid of all these terrorists, even though... Uh, if you watch right now YouTube versus uh, Hindu versus Muslim, also some of those Muslims even so happy what Israel is been doing. And I've been telling you again and again to Ben Gavir and uh, Nathanayu, do not stop. And first of all, they're not going to stop because time is over. I'm going to, when I'm going to read the Ezekiel chapter 2, 21, 25, <clears throat> I will explain to you that what is coming up. So this one right now, whatever Nathanayu and Ben Gavir is doing, is doing fine. If they do not have to listen. It's written in the Daniel chapter that once the ancient of days come in, everything will start and everything will be in our side so right now we are in the in the uh, in the redemption time and we are also on the possession we're going to possess the land completely that we haven't been possessed because there is still the jordan and the other countries have a part inside the israel because of the aqsa mask so those, all those things will be removed and we will possess the land very soon and we will start building the temple. Now, excuse me. I'm going to read <clears throat> some Ezekiel uh, scriptures about four scriptures to make you understand. But one of the things that I want to tell you that Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel, if all the Christian people read, let me tell you that none of the chapter talks about Jesus Christ. So let me tell you, 
Jesus Christ is not coming back. If you are expecting that rapture is going to happen and the Jesus Christ will come in the cloud, it's not going to happen. Because the Son of Man in the cloud already came and he was thinking by reading that scriptures tell you that one day he will be returned. No, he is not coming back. I am already here and you will see through the scriptures. Now, <clears throat> let's read Ezekiel chapter uh, 327. If I read the Ezekiel 327, uh, let's see, 327. There you go. Then the Spirit came into me and raised me to my feet. He spoke to me and said, Go shut yourself inside your house, and you, son of man, they will tie with the ropes. You will be bound so that you cannot go out among the people. I will make your tongue stick to the roof of your mouth so that you will be silent and unable to rebuke them. Though they are a rebellious house. I am right now at the point of rebellious house. But when I speak to you, I will open your mouth and you shall say to them, This is what the sovereign Lord says. Whoever will listen, let him listen. This time I am telling you, I am telling you, listen to me. <clears throat> listen to me. And whoever will refuse, let him refuse. For they are a rebellious house. So that's the point. I am at the rebellious house. People are very rebellious at this point. They do not believe me. They are having a hard time to accept me. But God cannot change his mind. God cannot change his mind. He knows from the beginning to the end. He knew me before he formed me in my mother womb. And he chose me for this purpose. So he knew from the beginning of the world that he was going to choose me. So right now we are in the timing of Ezekiel. Let's read chapter 21. 25. Go to 21, 25, and I will explain to you where we are. <clears throat> o profane and wicked prince of Israel, whose days has come, whose time of punishment has reached its climax. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Take off the turban, remove the crown. He's talking to all those rabbis, all those rabbis in Israel and uh, in all over the world. Listen to this word. It will not be as it was. The lowly will be exalted and the exalted will be brought low. A ruin, a ruin. I will make a ruin. It will not be restored until he comes to whom it rightfully belongs to him, I will give it. This is where we go, uh, Genesis 49.10, the scepter will not depart from the Judah. So over here, once he will come, there won't be no ruin. Look at this again, I'm going to read that one. Say, a ruin, a ruin, we have a two times, two times temple, temple being destroyed. Now this third time, it won't happen. It won't happen. He can ruin, but he says he's not going to ruin. Look at this. I will make it a ruin. It will not be restored until he comes to whom it rightfully belongs. So I'm already over here. I'm already over here. He already sent me. So this generation will not uh, a pass, they will see the third temple building. We will build the temple, redemption will be on the way, and you all will see whatever the Zechariah chapter talk about, 
all the prophecy will be fulfilled very soon. I always told you that on my previous video about the Daniel time, times and half a time, that's a 24 years, 24 and a half years is finishing December the 31st. Once that will be finished, I should be on my throne. How? Still, I don't know. And I'm not going to predict that one because it's still on his hand. I mean, he has chosen me. That's all I know. He has shown me his glory. That's all I know. And also he revealed me the whole Daniel book. So I am coming no matter what you all think, what you all believe. But your Messiah is here and so we will possess the land, we will win the war, we will be the light of the world, we will rebuild the third temple and the whole world will come and worship on that temple of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob God. And the miracles will happen and then that time you all will know what miracle this Messiah or Moshiach will do. At this point, he has not given me that power yet. I am being restrained. So do the false Messiah is being restrained. Remember that even the, in the Old Testament also talk about the false Messiah. Just like they are thinking that Antichrist is coming and some of the people, probably be Christian people, still writing me that I am the Antichrist or I am, I am the false Messiah. But they do not understand. That's why I do not argue with them. They didn't, they're never going to get it because their pastors and the Christians, uh, theologians, uh, brainwash them so much only on the New Testament, they do not put in the Old Testament uh, any thoughts or read more and to understand. Uh, all Christian pastors is after money and because of the uh, scriptures and all the scriptures they took from the Old Testament. It is nothing new. So when I read the Ezekiel chapter, you will see they're not talking about Jesus. I'm going to explain to you and that way you will know that Jesus is not coming. First of all, for the Christian, for the Jewish people, I already told you who I am and, and what's coming up. There won't be no more ruin. There won't be no more ruin because I am here. Just like in the Daniel chapter says that once the ancient of days will come and he will judge against all those nations. And that's what is happening right now. And then again, uh, uh, I'm going to talk about the land of Babylon, which is United States of America. Uh, you cannot trust nobody right now. You cannot even trust United States of America. Listen, I have nothing against United States of America uh, or his people. If the people are everywhere is good, but the Satan, the devil has his own plan. And he's going to use in the end time United States of America against Israel even. <clears throat> right now, they are with us. But in the future, uh, in months coming up, they will back off because it's written about them in the Bible also that they also will be destroyed. They will come down to the earth. I'm going to read those scriptures right now. Let's read uh, uh, Ezekiel 37, 19. Thirty-seven, nineteen. Say to them, this is the word the sovereign Lord says, I am going to take the stick of Joseph, which is in the Ephraim's hand, and of the Israelite tribes associated with him, and join it to Judah. A stick, making them a single stick of wood, and they will become one in my hand. Listen, right now... <coughs> All the 12 tribes, which is all over the world, all over the world, especially those 11 tribes, except the Judah, they all are somewhere 
and they're all going to connect with the Juda. Now listen, there is only two countries that what I see, if the Muslim people are from the Ismail side or from the half brother, then I am not counting them. I am not counting them that they become a, a 12 tribes from the 12 tribes. But I will count as India because they are the one worshipping all the idols and they're not the Muslims. First of all, they're not the Muslim and they believe in God. So the Muslim believe in God. Only they worship the idols. And when Aaron, when Moses was up there, Aaron is the one made that idol and the idol been worshipped time of the Jacob. So I believe the 12 tribes we're looking is from India. And if you look right now, everywhere, uh, India, they're talking about India and Israel, how we are connected, why we are connected, why India is supporting Israel so much and why Israel supported India. Right now, you can trust India more than United States of America. So I'm talking to all the Israeli people. Listen, you can trust the India right now than any other country. India never going to stab you from the back. They will are with you and they will always with you. They were with you. They are with you right now and they will be with you whenever you need because we have a, some kind of connection from the past. And that's what exactly what I'm talking about, that God have choose me among you to make you understand. I came from Hinduism, but everything is written about me that I will come or he will choose me. And God have choose me to make you understand that I am part of you just because you speak Hebrew doesn't make you. You are the only one Jew. All the Jews are migrated. Even the right now, there are so many young kids, Jewish kids. They don't speak Hebrew, just like my son don't speak my language or my wife language. So do they don't. So that doesn't make you Jew or doesn't make me not Jew. So that's who I am. I am from Hinduism and that's just uh, uh, I, I can't change that. That's what I am. But God knows who I am originally. So this is what, let's read over here to make you understand. Which is stick of wood and they will become one in my hand. Hold before their eyes the sticks you have written on and say to them, this is what Sovereign Lord says, I will take the Israelite out of the nations where they have gone. I will gather them from all around and bring them back to back into their own land. Look at this. I will make them one nation in the land on the mountain of Israel. There will be one king over all of them and they will never again be two nations or be divided into two kingdoms, they will no longer defile themselves with their idols and whale images. Listen, it literally is talking about if anybody is right now worshipping idols is Indian. It's all Indian. God is telling you that India is connected with Israel. It's telling you over here, and it's not talking about Muslim because they don't worship, they don't worship the idols. Over here, it's talking about, for I will the, uh, themselves with their idols and whale images or with any of their offenses, for I will save them from all their sinful backsliding and I will cleanse them. They will be my people and I will be their God. So again, India and Israel is together right now. Remember, I'm telling you, look at this, the next sentence. They, this were the Christian. My servant David will be king over them. 
it doesn't say Jesus. And even if it is says King David, he is talking about in spiritual level that the the king will be like King David, the new king, which is his son. That God have promised in two Samuel seven thirteen. God promised King David, one day I will bring your one of your own son from your own blood and flesh from your own loin. He will be my son. I will be his father. If he sin, I will. I will uh, straight him, but I will never take the favor from him like he took away from the soul. But even though when he took away from the soul, he knew it from the beginning that the soul will fall in. So let's read over here. My servant David will be king over them, and they will all have one shepherd. They will follow my laws and be careful to keep my decree. They will live in the land I gave it to my servant Jacob, the land where your father lived. They and their children and their children children will live there forever. And David, my servant, will be their prince forever. I will make a covenant of peace. This covenant covenant is between those twelve tribes. I will make a covenant to peace with them. It will be an everlasting covenant. I will establish them and increase their numbers, and I will put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling place, Jerusalem, is his dwelling place. Will be with them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. Then the nation will know that I, the Lord, make Israel holy when my sanctuary is among them forever. God never promised what Jesus promised. It's totally different. Jesus said, "I will take you where I am." He said, "In my Father's house there are many rooms." Over here, the Father wants to give you the land and the vineyard on the earth. It's totally wrong. Whatever He is promising you, I don't know where He's going to take you. He's, he's definitely he's not going to give you land and and the vineyard that what God promised and God promised to or or God just promised to only twelve tribes maybe the people and the children of the twelve tribes that they will have all these things and you will have the mortal six probably I don't know but I'm gonna tell you that whatever He promised is not written in this New Test Old Testament. Is definitely is not written at all. He's talking about King David will come or his son will come. He will be the shepherd. Jesus was born of the virgin according to the New Testament. If he is born of the virgin, then he is not in the line of King David. And even if you oh yeah yeah because of the mother doesn't matter he you all say he's he born of the virgin is over he has to be if he's born of the virgin then <clears throat> he has to be by God and then he's become a god but if I read the Ezekiel chapter and then you will understand that the God is talking about let me read one of the scriptures over here and then you will know. Let's read Ezekiel. I think so. Is thirty-seven, nineteen to twenty-eight, and twenty twenty-eight. Ezekiel twenty-eight. Let's read Ezekiel twenty-eight. There you go. Over here, this chapter you can you can if you read you understand you can say it's talking about the land of Babylon or it's talking about the someone that. He threw him out, or he was anointed one, and he wanted to be like a god, or he said he is the god. So let me read these scriptures to make you understand what he is talking about. Let's go. This is what the sovereign Lord says: In the pride of your heart, you say, "I am a god." Now, who said, "I am a god"? Who said in? If you read from the beginning to the end, 
who said from the Old Testament to the New Testament, only one person that we know the scriptures, he said, I am he. Me and my father is one. Now, I'm not sure did he ever said I am a God or not, but worship me and worship my father in Revelation chapter. So over here, he says, in the pride of your heart, you say I am a God. I sit on the throne of a God in the heart of the sea, but you are a man and not a God. So God is telling that you are not a God to that, this person, whoever it is. It is a Jesus or whoever it is that been thrown out. He said, look at this, or come to do the, his work. Look at this. But you are a man and not a God, though you think you are a wise, wise as a God. You think you are wise as a God. Listen, are you wiser than Daniel? Now he is telling that you think that you are wise as me, but you are not wiser than Daniel because look the next uh, sentence. Is no secret hidden from you? So God is telling this guy, you, you don't know that I am the master and I know what I'm doing. I have the secret that you don't know, but Daniel knows because God has revealed everything to Daniel. Now, if these two person over here, Daniel and this person, two person is the anointed one, then one of them is trying to go about the God. If, if God have a two son and one is rebellious, definitely he want the kingdom of his father. But the father knew from the beginning that this one is not going to do the right thing for my kingdom, so he always choose the right one. He always have some secret. And so now look what happens. Is no secret hidden from you, but your wisdom and understanding, you have gained wealth for yourself. Now he's talking about, of course, because of his wisdom, he gained the wealth, he received the wealth. Now who's the wealthiest country right now in this end time? is United States of America. And now if you read down there, you will understand what will happen to United States of America. Let me read. And a shame gold and silver in your treasure. By your great skill and trading, you have increased your wealth, which is United States of America. And because of your wealth, your heart has grown proud. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says, because you think, you are wise, a wise is God. I am going to bring foreigner against you, the most ruthless of nations. They will draw their swords against your beauty and wisdom and prince and pierce your shining splendor. They will bring you down to the pit and you will die a violent death in the heart of the sea. Will you then say, I am a God? In the presence of those who kill you, you will be but a man, not a God, in the hands of those who slay you. You will die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of the foreigner. This is going to happen. This is going to happen in the end. This is coming. This is coming. Everything is written in this book to fulfill the, all the prophecy will happen now because I am already over here. Remember the ancient of days is over here and so do the anointed one is over here. Just like I read the Ezekiel chapter 21, ruin, ruin, ruin until the scepter will be given to who belongs to. And if he comes, everything will stop. There won't be no ruin anymore. The two ruin is already done. The third one is about to happen. But before that, God has sent me to finish the job. So we're not going to see any more ruin, but we're going to see the victory. We're going to see the redemptions. People will be redeemed. 
the fountain will be open in Jerusalem in the house of King David from the tribe of Judah. People will rejoice. People will be walking with the cane in the King David place. There won't be no war and weapons. The weapons will be used for the farming. All those things, whatever is written in Zechariah, it will happen. Remember I told you, we are about to see the plague of finance. You all will see the plague of finance, which will be like, although your wealth and the money will be plundered front of your eyes, the bank will be shut down. I don't know how everybody will survive, how everything will happen. But on the COVID-19, we see that one. We see that one. If on the COVID-19, United States didn't pump trillions of dollars, United States would have been broke by that. Only reason we are surviving right now because of trillions of dollars they put in the economy to just to let go for certain years. And now everybody's hurting. Everybody's hurting. It's whole day wages, glass of barley. Sometimes I do use the the scriptures from the New Testament, but it's it's written also in in the Old Testament in Zechariah chapter 14 that before the rebuilding of the temple there won't be no wages. There won't be no wages. There will be famine. There will be shortage of everything. You know, sometimes you think I'm preaching, but I never preach. I'm not here to preach you. I'm here to tell you the truth. I am here. You don't have to wait anymore or listen to your rabbi that no one knows the day and the hour. That scripture is old now. That scripture is void because I am already here. I know the timing now because I am the Daniel from the dead. God has revealed me that I am the one to finish the job. You are not going to find your Moshiach, Moshiach easier. Uh, and remember, there are certain rabbi always tell you that, oh, we have thousands of rabbi in our, in our channel. Now, you know, if they tell me five or ten, I believe them. Okay, there are some cuckoo people, you know. I understand that part. But when you say uh, thousands of them, then definitely you are the one cuckoo, not them. So please, stop lying. Tell the truth. If you don't know, don't say nothing. It's better to keep your mouth shut, then open and then regret later. Now, you may talk about me. You can say whatever you want. It, it's not going to make difference to me because I am who I am sent to you by your father. From, from your Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob father, same father as we have. He is the one sent me to you to get you redeemed. You have a chance before... Things get ugly. Things going to get ugly. But at least we can start sitting and start making the plan of how we're going to build this temple. How we're going to start the sacrifice. All those things going to happen. Whatever is written in the Old Testament, all the laws we're going to have to obey. We're going to have to follow. As I will get the instruction from him, Hashem, I will send it to you. I am the only one can go in and out. Remember, in the last, in the end of the days, the new, in the new temple, I am the priest and I am the king. All the kings and the presidents of this world will come and worship at Jerusalem. I, I sometimes I don't know myself. I don't know myself how all this thing will happen. This is 21st century. You know, uh, 
How could it be possible just written in, in this book 5,000 years ago, 3,500 years ago? That's not going to make me a Moshe. But I, I tried to get it out myself, but I can't. I can't get it out. I cannot get out. I cannot get out anymore. And you cannot get me out. Even the father cannot get me out. I don't know what he sees me and why he chose me, but he chose me among 8 billion people. And I'm coming. I am your Moshiach. I am the one Jacob is expecting. I am the, the star from the Jacob. I am the branch. I am the son of King David and I am the son of adopted son of God. I am the messenger. I am the covenant of the messenger. I am the transgressor. I am the one God has choose me for you. Let's get together and start building the temple. Aksa Mas has to go. All the mask has to go from Israel. There will be only one God. There will be only one master. Master of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. If they believe, the Muslim believe that they are the part of Abrahamic group, then they will let us build the third temple. Because their God and our God is same. There is only one God. God of Hindu, God of Muslim, God of Sikh. There is only one God. And I talk about Hindus also. Let me tell you all the Hindus. God has choose me among 8 billion people. I know you all been watching all those gurus and all those. Uh, um, I don't know in India a lot of things going on. People believe in a lot of people. Now they are start doing the same thing. What Christian people were doing it. By putting their hands and trying to get the evil spirit out. All those are bogus. Let me tell you, all those are bogus. They are lying to you. The idols cannot give you anything. I've been, I was worshipping for 37 years. And God came to me. He came personally. I was up there and told me to throw all those idols. Idols, you need to throw it away. You cannot worship the idols. Yes, he will get rid of it. I know it's not easy. It's not easy. It wasn't easy for me either. And it's not easy right now for me to tell my brothers and sisters, take the idols out. But I told them, but they're not going to. It's not easy. Till God intervened. And he will, as he said in Ezekiel chapter, that he will remove all the idols in one single day. And it's coming. So that's for all the Indian people. I am coming as Jewish people accepting, uh, expecting their Messiah. So wait and see a coming months. God bless you and we'll see you next time.